for the landscape with so many rich opportunities. And it's basically surrounded by the Gross Valley, which is, you know, 600 metres down these steep cliff sides. There are waterfalls cascading off the cliff sides. There are gorges and canyons going off through the cliffs into the plateau landscape. And there are hanging swamps scattered right across all of that. I spent seven years where there wasn't anything else I wanted to do. Um, from when I first encountered a giant dragonfly, I knew what it was. I'd never seen one before. So I just sat down, like, you know, right next to it and just... You know, we had a bit of a kind of thing, a bit of a communion. Their lives are not long, so there's a kind of transience about their beauty. They're big, males can be quite aggressive with each other. When it comes to grabbing females to mate with, there's no courtship. I think we probably spend an hour watching the female and the male perched down in the vegetation as they were just quietly mating away. People associate wetlands with floodplains or low-lying swampy areas. But in the Blue Mountains, hanging swamps hang on the sides of valleys. From a biodiversity point of view, they're jewels in the landscape. You're five minutes from a coffee shop and it's quite a wild place.